Hi, I'm Alex Murray Leslie. I'm Melissa Logan. And we're from Chicks on Speed. And Chicks on Speed formed in Munich in 1997 behind the Fine Art Academy, where we were studying at the time. And we used to do a, a legal bar there called Seppi Bar. And um, that's where we met and did a lot of projects uh, related with music and fashion and art projects. Right from the beginning we were working with a lot of people and there was also a lot of separation in the art academy of um, the classes, what class one worked in, what genre, and a lot of what was being organized was also very fixated in this grouping of people and to break away from that we set up exhibitions and performances and um, also set up some tours and and then very soon though we became very music oriented because the art stuff was really slow and also the environment, the gallery environment we found really confining and we also became more of a group of three people and not such a large group and in the last five or seven years that's broken down into a larger collective. Alex and I is the nucleus and we, we push and organize the events and performances and projects and then we have members in London, New York, Berlin and Spain, Barcelona, Paris. <laughs> and these these other members then um, it changes depending on the project, the size of the project and also the mediums that we're working in. This is the issue which started off as the high heel shoe guitar prototype that we made at CAC in Vilnius, Contemporary Art Centre. The curator Simon Rees invited us over and gave us the possibility to, twin, uh, to create all these new object instruments. And at the time we were focusing more on building different types of shoes. And some of the shoes had microphones in them. They were very get smartish. And then one of them was the, the guitar that um, worked as a, a regular guitar, so it had a pickup inside guitar strings and screws and um, you plugged it in in the back of the shoe and um, from working on, on in, in the space at CAC we then um, developed also rock instruments from Melissa and their amplified rocks with contact microphones and that led into doing a type of orchestra piece uh, at the opening but then we realised after doing the piece we thought oh wow we sort of need more of these shoes and wouldn't it be great if it was wireless and so and wearable and wearable and so it was like this thing of like product development you know R&D on the on the shoe and it took three years to develop then this final shoe we worked together with um, in the on the first shoe we worked together with Steve Dawson and Ollie Horton and on this shoe we've worked together with around 10 different people and the shoe designer is Max Kibardin He's Russian and lives in Milan. And also Angar, which is hangar.org. Uh, and there it's, that's an art production space in Barcelona where we do actually a lot of our um, more electronic um, pieces with circuit boards and so on. And Alex Posada, uh, Bartos and Miguel worked on the electronics of this shoe on the building the circuit board, which is a specially designed circuit board and with a wireless unit that communicates via MIDI signals to a, to a laptop and um, so it does work as a, as a guitar and you just touch the strings, it's got touch sensors connected to the strings inside, inside the shoe and so it's very good for the stage. And then um, we worked with different, various factories to turn specially designed uh, screws here based on regular guitar screws and working like regular guitar screws in a way and we designed those with Mark Monzo who's a jeweller based in Barcelona and we also turned these elements at another factory and then we went to a car paint factory and um, painted them all. So it was a lot of, it was a, um, a lot of different processes to, to build the issue. And the idea is it's a bit of that thing of like don't art fashion music. It's transcending art, transcending fashion and transcending music and using technology as, as glue in a way to do that. The cigar box was actually the first instrument that we made I think about eight or ten years ago and at the time we also used quite easy technology just with pick up, 
pick up microphones, distortion pedals, and just bought a bunch of things and stuck it in it and used it for live shows. <clears throat> and, but it was always a dream to have it really functioning as an instrument. And later we met some people who build the build synthesizers. And we went to their studio in Barcelona and then did a little bit of soldering. And we didn't make the whole thing though. It's, one has to be very patient. And um, I think after three days of soldering, our patients ran out and then they uh, finished them up. <clears throat> so these are functioning uh, synthesizers with sequencers. And there are 10 of them and they're all different. So now what we have is the Cigar Box Orchestra. The, the stage is a Gesamtkunstwerk. The, the show is a Gesamtkunstwerk. So it's the interrelationship between uh, music, fashion and art on a sculptural stage. Well, we have moving elements. For example, the beat is happening, which is quite a graphic piece here, a screen print mixed with painting. And it's also, it's also a song. And the elements, the graphic elements, they are made out of actually a speaker system, which has been abstracted and it looks, uh, it has become a pattern. And the pattern has moved into the weaving, the loom, which is inside the stage. And there, um, a large piece of uh, fabric has been woven there, also based on this pattern. The pattern's also in uh, another painting. And um, there are a few pieces like that that move between, uh, move in the exhibition. And on the two walls here, there are the banners, which are collections of slogans and impressions from, um, from the people who were here for the exhibition. For the exhibition, for example, Nadine Yassin, and quotes that we've used in other exhibitions, and kind of also uh, the sloganeering, which are also kind of a street philosophy that we've developed. And these are made by sign painters in Africa. The theremin tapestry is an instrument based on the original theremin made by Lev Theremin in Russia at the Theremin Institute. And um, we worked together with the, th uh, the Victorian Tapestry Workshop in Australia, in Melbourne. And the piece was actually originally made for our exhibition there called Viva La Craft. And it was a, a work in pro progress and there were five weavers from the Victorian Tapestry Workshop who would come in every day and weave. And they wove in conductive threads in into, the, into the wharf and the, and the weft. And uh, then we, we had four conductive threads woven in and they were connected to the theremin hardware back in Barcelona with Alex Posada and then we programmed it's a similar thing sending um, well it's similar in the way that it's sending MIDI signals to a computer so all the sounds are stored in Ableton Live on a, on a laptop yeah the style of the fashion video is very much like silent films that are that sped up and it's basically, it came from a very, just a very kind of banal idea of having this huge pile of archive material that we had and then we... Tried to photograph it. it yeah, we work. tried to photograph it and it became all sterile and, and dead. And, and then flat on the wall. We realized we have to wear these things that are actually made as things that one's inside and doing something in. And then this, yeah, this video came out of that, really. It should be very inspired also by this like 1920s, I don't know, like putting on clothes or something and this uh, speeding up a film or that's yeah. filmed like, you know, because it's, it's a wrong speed sort of thing. Yeah. The hats are self-contained amplification devices, which are, it's the idea that you can actually be anywhere and perform, that the performance is not contained to a stage, a large sound system, engineers and all these things. You can be anywhere, you can put on your hat, your mad hat, and step in the street. And it also looks good. <laughs>